Madam Chairman, we in the House belong to different political persuasions. We have differences of opinion in the approaches in the defense matters by the government on particular defense programs but there has always been and there is today also a rare unanimity among all members in our affection and respect for the fighting men of the defense forces whether they be in Siachen Glacier, whether they be in our desert frontier, whether they are on the high seas or fighting in the air. My senior colleague, the Defense Minister Shri Sharad Pawar, during the last two months after taking charge, visited the remotes fronts of our country where our javans are in a state of readiness including siachin and participated in the naval exercises he has also taken pains to visit our workers in our defense production units and scientists in the research and development units who are giving able support to our defense efforts. Madam, we are aware of the de-essential of tensions in the world, the proceeding of the possibilities of a nuclear war largely due to the epoch-making initiative taken by gear world leaders but then as far as india is concerned we have to live with the geopolitical regional situation and our threat perceptions in our immediate government which are of an extremely serious nature we are aware of these threat perceptions we are aware of Pakistan's nuclear capabilities and program and the way they are acquiring more sophisticated arms from the United States, China and even the reported acquisition of Iraqi tank from Saudi Arabia. We are all only too much aware of their involvement in dissatisfaction of our country in Jammu and Kashmir and Punjab. We are also aware of the military development in China. I do not want to go into the details, but I would like to aware the honorable members that a very detailed and systematic assessments of the strategy and technological environment faced by this country has already been prepared by the defense planning staff and concerned ministries including the ministry of external affairs it is in a process of detailed discussion in the Ministry of Defense. After finalization of this document, it will form the basis for determining our principal security objectives and planning strategies in our defense during the 11th five-year plan.